Good morning, everybody. I think we have a live shot of the snow coming down in New England at this moment. The blizzard of 2013 not finished yet, and the effects, I can guarantee this, we will be feeling them for days. These images are amazing. Well, we're beginning to get a picture of just how bad the storm is. States of emergency declared from New York to Maine. The snow pounded down at an incredible rate of two to three inches per hour in some spots. Now take a look at this map. Up to 12 inches here in New York City to an incredible three feet in parts of Connecticut. Boston got smacked with two feet, leaving their people there with a new big dig to deal with. Uh, Ron, who used to live in New York, uh, in Boston, will remember the big dig. It was the largest public yeah. works project in the history of mankind. And uh, we've got a new public works project That's coming right. up in Boston now. A huge headache for them. Well, our extreme weather team is where the snow is this morning, fanned out across the storm zone with the latest on what's to come, how to handle it when you get back on the roads as well. Leading our coverage of the blizzard of 2013, Sam Champion and Ginger Z. Let's go first to Sam, our weather editor, who is in New York's Columbus Circle this morning. Sam, good morning. Hey, good morning, Dan and Bianca. Well, we're actually on a side street here. This is Andrew. Uh, we've been helping him dig out this morning from the snowfall totals. This is his car. We're going to get it out for him this morning. But basically, we've got that eight inches of snow. Here, Andrew, I'll step on the other side of this. And you keep going. Uh, we've got about that eight inches of snow in New York City. Take a look at the snowfall totals that we've got on the boards for you this morning. With some places in Connecticut coming at about 34 inches of snow. St. James, New York, almost 30 inches of snow. We've got Boston right now. Remember, this is a blowing, blowing, driving snow. So it's been very difficult to measure in the entire overnight event of this storm. With 50, 60 mile per hour winds. So we've got Boston right now at a preliminary number of about 18 inches. Ginger's been out uh, measuring that this morning and New York City because it's almost impossible. Everything's in drifts and everything was blowing around about eight to 10 inches of snow there. Quick look at the radar and we'll show you exactly what's happening right now. You can see that the heavier line of snow is pulled away from the New York City area, but still you've got that snow from Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, on into Boston area, on into Maine as well. And we believe there'll be additional accumulations there. Snowfall totals. At one point we were getting snow at five to six inches per hour in Connecticut with a blinding driving wind of almost hurricane force. You've got another five inches of snow coming in the Boston area. We believe you could have five to eight in that area, depending on how light and fluffy that snow continues to be during the day today. How about a wind forecast? Well, from this storm, 83 mile per hour winds in Martha's Vineyard. That is more than hurricane force winds in Martha's Vineyard during the during the event of this snowstorm. Connecticut, 76 to 82 mile an hour winds. Boston, 76 mile an hour winds. Long Island, 60 mile an hour winds. In Long Island, we have reports of hundreds of cars. We have the LIE uh, stranded. We have the LIE shut down. We have the Southern State Parkway shut down. People were out in this storm and got trapped. Their cars got stuck. We've got a big traffic nightmare going on out in Long Island at this hour. And a quick look at where this storm goes for the rest of the day. You can generally see that the idea is to pull this low up and out. There will still be snow. There will still be blizzard conditions in those northern areas up until about 1 o'clock this afternoon. The winds will stay high and gusty. We're going to have 60 mile an hour wind gusts for a while longer during the day today in those extreme northern New England areas. And those winds anywhere from 20 to 60 miles an hour will continue to blow the snow even after the snow stops falling. So you're going to have some whiteout conditions later on this afternoon. The best thing I have for you in areas, the best advice I have for you in areas like New York City where the snow has stopped. If the snow has stopped, then we can help you get out. You know, you can dig out like Andrew and I are digging him out this morning. But in everyone else, when you've got blowing snow conditions going on, you guys stay put until this storm is over because this is not an easy storm to get through.